half a dozen bodies being burned on the streets of Haiti's capital, victims of vigilante justice. Supposed gang members killed in broad daylight and then set on fire by residents, according to witnesses. Those who live in the neighborhood ready to fight back. If the gangs come to invade us, we will defend ourselves. We have our own weapons. We have our machetes. We will take their weapons. We will not run away. Mothers who want to protect their children can send them elsewhere. The violence had started in the early hours of the morning when criminal gangs burst into several homes and attacked residents. Hours later, police stopped and searched a minibus supposedly containing several gang members. According to officials, a mob saw this as a chance for revenge. During a search of a minibus in which there were armed individuals, the police confiscated weapons and other equipment. In addition, more than a dozen individuals travelling in this vehicle were unfortunately lynched by members of the population. The violence underlines the increasingly lawless situation in Port-au-Prince. Criminal gangs have taken control over an estimated 60% of the city since the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse nearly two years ago. On Monday, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez called for the deployment of an international armed force to Haiti in a desperate attempt to temper the escalating violence. It comes as a UN report highlighted the surge in murders and kidnappings in the country, with special emphasis on City Soleil, an area of the capital that has become besieged by gangs who are blocking access in and out. Locals terrorised by the violence are afraid to venture out of their homes. According to the UN, reported kidnappings have nearly doubled in the country in the last three months, and homicides have gone up by 21%.